Hello there and welcome to Wildlife with Effie Wild. This is episode 12 and I'm calling this one Even When You're Blue. I'm working in a little Kaye notebook that I picked up. The link is in the show notes. This is just um, meant to be used for written journaling, but I love turning these into art journals because it creates kind of a space for me where I can approach the page without being precious about it. It's just flimsy lined paper and I bolster it by um, tearing out every third page and then gluing pages together in order to make a substrate that can take pretty much anything I throw at it, especially if I gesso. I'm wanting to work with the sort of concept or idea of being acceptable and loved and worthy even when we're not like sunshine and roses because that has definitely been a thing for me. It was a part of my previous relationship that I was only really acceptable when I was like Miss Susie Cream Cheese and smiling and happy. And as soon as I was not in an okay headspace, I was just simply not okay. And that has had a very strong impact on me over the years. It's really made it difficult for me to be okay with not being okay. And I think if there's anything that we all need at this point in our sort of global you know, history, it's the understanding that it's okay to not be okay. You know, wherever we're at, whatever we're experiencing in any given moment, it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to reach out when we're not okay as well. And I'm noticing this among uh, friends of mine, among even um, family members, that the tendency to isolate when we're not really in a good place is really powerful. Now, sometimes that's okay. Sometimes we all need to like blanket fort with our fur babes and a good book, but sometimes we're doing it to, I don't know, kind of spare the people in our lives from having to deal with our darker days. But I've really embraced over the last uh, few months the idea that if people can't take me when I'm at my worst. They don't deserve me when I'm at my best. Uh, so if I'm having a hard time and I am um, feeling resistant to reaching out when I need to reach out, I just remind myself that if the shoe were on the other foot, for example, and if my dear friends or family reached out to me for help or for comfort or um, just, just, just for the sake of being there, um, you know, we all need people to just sort of sit with us when we're in our darkness. I would be there in a heartbeat, right? With bells on, like putting on the tea and making the soup and bringing the casserole and doing whatever I could to be there. So I sort of turn that on its head and I remind myself that that's the case, that if it were me, I would want to be there and therefore my people want to be there for me too. So this spread explores the idea of acknowledging that I'm acceptable and I'm worthy even when I'm feeling down or feeling blue or feeling confused or you know not sure what's going on. This journal that you're seeing me work in here is one that I started during the Lifebook Creativity and Wellness Summit. It is meant to kind of hold messages like these where I'm sort of talking to myself about what's going on with me and I'm telling myself the things that I really need to hear in the moment in this journal. So I'm going to be using a lot of really easy techniques because when I'm in a space where I'm needing to talk to myself about what's going on with me, I don't necessarily want to be working with like super complicated technique. So I'll be using a lot of collage, I'll be using selfies, I'll be using um, layers that are just easy to apply. And the point in this journal is not to make things that are perfect or you know museum worthy or anything like that. The point in this journal is just to have a place to meet myself on the page in whatever state I'm in. So as I'm coming to this page, I'm coming to it after an extremely difficult interaction with someone who really made me feel like shit for needing them. Um, and this has prompted me to just sort of like let go of that person altogether because if there are people in your life that make you feel like shit for needing them or for needing their help, 
um, especially when they're the ones that put you in the position of needing their help, maybe let those people go because those people probably aren't good for you. So this is an exploration of that. And it's a reminder to myself that A, it's okay to be down, to be blue. It's okay to need people. And it's okay to reach out when you need people. This really was kind of like a note to self.